Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Get ready to be blown away, because this week is packed with groundbreaking AI research papers that are pushing the boundaries of what's possible. In this video, we're covering the top trending AI research papers making waves in the community. From mind-blowing video generation techniques to revolutionary 3D modeling approaches, these papers are shaping the future of AI. So buckle up, hit that subscribe button, and let's dive into the incredible world of cutting-edge AI research. Paper number one, Mimic Talk personalized talking faces in minutes. Let's talk about a paper called Mimic Talk, mimicking a personalized and expressive 3D talking face in few minutes. Presented at NeurIPS 2024, imagine creating realistic talking videos of anyone, capturing their unique look and speaking style. That's what Mimic Talk is all about. Now, older methods often needed to train a separate AI model for each person, which was time consuming and inefficient. What makes Mimic Talk special is that it uses a single powerful model that can be adapted to any person in minutes. Think of it like this. Imagine a master sculptor who can quickly mold their skills to create a perfect likeness of anyone. Mimic Talk starts with a base model that understands how faces move and speak in general. Then, using a clever static dynamic hybrid adaptation pipeline, it learns the specific details of a person's face and their unique way of talking. It even uses an in-context stylized audio-to-motion model to ensure the generated face moves realistically and expressively in sync with the audio. The results? Mimic Talk produces high quality personalized talking face videos that are more efficient and expressive than previous methods. This technology has huge potential for various applications, from creating personalized digital avatars to generating realistic dubbing for videos. Mimic Talk is a fantastic example of how AI is making it easier to create realistic and engaging digital content. Let me know in the comments what you think about this amazing technology. Paper number two revolutionizing dynamic scene geometry estimation. Let's we're taking a look at a groundbreaking paper titled A Simple Approach for Estimating Geometry in the Presence of Motion. This paper introduces a novel method for understanding the 3D structure of scenes where objects are moving and changing over time. Traditional methods often rely on complex pipelines that break down the problem into smaller tasks, but Monster takes a direct, geometry-first approach by estimating a dynamic point cloud for each time step in a video. Think of it as creating a 3D snapshot of the scene at each moment, capturing how objects move and interact. The key innovation here is adapting the Dust 3 or representation, originally designed for static scenes, to handle dynamic ones. Monster does this by simply estimating a point map for each frame, which surprisingly proves effective despite the limited availability of training data for dynamic scenes. To train the model, the researchers cleverly fine-tuned it on a small set of carefully chosen dynamic video datasets. This allows Monster to learn the complexities of motion without needing an explicit motion representation. What makes Monus 3R truly exciting are its impressive results. It achieves competitive performance on tasks like video depth estimation and camera pose estimation, even outperforming methods specifically designed for these tasks. Monster also excels in handling challenging scenarios, like scenes with changing camera intrinsics and frames with minimal overlap. The paper showcases stunning examples of Monster reconstructing both the geometry and camera trajectory in dynamic scenes. This technology has the potential to revolutionize fields like robotics, augmented reality, and 3D content creation. Paper number three, Video Guide, Boosting Video Quality Without Retraining. Let's we're exploring a fascinating paper called Video Guide, Improving Video Diffusion Models Without Training Through a Teacher's Guide. This paper tackles a major challenge in the world of AI video generation, how to create videos that are both visually stunning and smoothly consistent over time. Traditionally, improving the temporal consistency of text-to-video models required a lot of extra training, but Video Guide offers a clever solution. It uses a pre-trained video diffusion model as a teacher to guide the video generation process. Imagine having an expert artist standing by, subtly guiding your hand as you paint. That's essentially what Video Guide does. During the early stages of video generation, Video Guide cleverly blends the output of the teacher model with the output of the model being used to generate the video. This helps ensure that each frame flows smoothly into the next, creating a more cohesive and realistic video. What's really cool is that Video Guide doesn't require any changes to the original models, and it works with a wide range of existing video diffusion models. The results are impressive. The paper showcases examples where Video Guide significantly improves 
improves the temporal consistency of generated videos without sacrificing image quality. This means we can have AI-generated videos that are both beautiful and believable. Video Guide is a significant step forward in AI video generation, opening up exciting possibilities for creating high-quality video content. Let me know in the comments what applications you envision for this technology. Paper number four, Enhancing Video Interpolation. Hey everyone, let's we're looking at a cool paper called Vibit Sampler, Enhancing Video Interpolation Using Bidirectional Diffusion Sampler. This paper tackles the challenge of creating smooth and realistic transitions between keyframes in a video, a process known as interpolation. While AI has made strides in video generation, creating seamless transitions between two given frames is still tricky. Existing methods can sometimes produce artifacts or results that look unnatural. What makes Vibit Sampler special is its unique bidirectional sampling approach. Imagine you have a starting frame and an ending frame. Instead of just trying to generate the frames in between from start to finish, Vibit Sampler works in both directions simultaneously. It generates frames from start to end and from end to start, and then cleverly combines the results. This back and forth process helps ensure that the generated frames stay true to the expected visual patterns and flow smoothly. The results are impressive. Vibit Sampler produces high quality videos that transition seamlessly between keyframes. It's also efficient requiring less computation than other methods. The paper shows Vibid Sampler outperforming existing techniques, generating smooth transitions in just a couple of minutes on a standard GPU. This makes it a promising tool for video editors, animators, and anyone looking to create visually appealing and realistic video content. Paper number five, Lux IR, a more efficient way to restore images. Let's we're talking about an interesting paper called Learning Efficient and Effective Trajectories for Differential Equation-Based Image Restoration, also known as Flux IR. This paper introduces a new way to think about image restoration using something called differential equations. Imagine you have a blurry or damaged picture and you want to restore it to its original quality. Instead Instead of directly fixing the image, Flux IR approaches the problem like navigating a path. This method uses two main steps to make image restoration more effective and efficient. First, it uses reinforcement learning to find the best path from the low quality image to a high quality one. It's like teaching a computer to explore all the possible ways to restore the image and find the most effective route. The second step addresses the computational cost of this process. Calculating all the steps along the path can be very time consuming. So Flux IR uses a technique called trajectory distillation to simplify the path, reducing the number of calculations needed without sacrificing the quality of the restoration. The paper shows how Flux IR improves performance in tasks like removing rain from images, enhancing underwater pictures, and brightening low light photos. It even works with a large scale diffusion model called Flux Dev, showing its potential for a wide range of image restoration tasks. Flux IR offers a new way to think about image restoration, leading to more efficient and powerful techniques. Paper number six. Omnibooth Multimodal Control for Image Creation. Let's we're looking at an exciting paper called Omnibooth Learning Latent Control for Image Synthesis with Multimodal Instruction. This paper introduces a new framework for generating images with amazing control and flexibility. Now, AI image generation has come a long way, but precisely controlling the content and layout of an image can still be challenging. What sets Omnibooth apart is its ability to use multiple types of input or multimodal instruction. Imagine you want to create an image with specific objects in specific places. With Omnibooth, you can provide guidance in a few different ways. You can draw masks to define the areas where objects should appear, use text descriptions to specify what those objects should be, and even use reference images to control their style or appearance. Omnibooth takes all this input and combines it into a special latent control signal. This signal acts like a blueprint, guiding the image generation process to create exactly what you have in mind. The results are impressive. Omnibooth can generate realistic images with multiple objects, each positioned and styled according to the input instructions. This opens up a ton of creative possibilities for anyone who wants to generate highly customized images. Be sure to check out the video demonstration linked in the paper to see Omnibooth in action. Paper number seven, Lex 3D, generating amazing 3D objects from images and text. Let's we're diving into an awesome paper called Flex 3D, feed forward 3D generation with flexible reconstruction model and input view curation. This paper presents a cool new method 
for creating high-quality 3D objects using just a single image or even a text description. Imagine being able to turn a photo of your pet into a 3D model or generate a 3D model of a fantastical creature just from your imagination. What makes Flex 3D special is its two-stage pipeline. The first stage is all about generating different viewpoints of the object you want to create. It uses a powerful AI model called a diffusion model, which has been specially trained to understand multiple views and even videos. This model takes your input image or text and creates a bunch of candidate views, kind of like snapshots of the object from different angles. Then, it uses a clever selection process to pick out the best and most consistent views. The second stage takes these selected views and uses a special 3D reconstruction model called FlexRM to actually build the 3D object. FlexRM works with a triplane representation, which is a fancy way of saying it uses three different planes to represent the object's shape and appearance. This information is then decoded into 3D Gaussians, which are basically small fuzzy spheres that, when combined, make up the full 3D model. This two-stage approach allows Flex 3D to combine the power of cutting-edge image generation with efficient 3D reconstruction techniques. While the paper doesn't go into deep detail about how FlexRM works, it highlights its flexibility as a key advantage. If you're interested in 3D modeling and want to see how AI is pushing the boundaries of what's possible, definitely check out Flex 3D. Paper number eight, BizGen, making images come to life with realistic physics. Let's we're looking at a super cool paper called FizGen, Rigid Body Physics, Grounded Image to Video Generation. This paper introduces a new method for generating videos from a single image. But here's the twist, it uses physics. That means instead of just guessing how pixels might move in a video, FizGen tries to understand the objects in the image, their physical properties, and simulates how they would actually move in the real world. So how does it work? First, FizGen analyzes the image to figure out things like the shape of the objects, what they're made of, and their weight. This is done by the image understanding module. Next, it uses these properties and applies the laws of physics, specifically rigid body physics, to simulate how the objects would move if you pushed them or pulled them. This is the image space dynamics simulation model. Finally, FizGen takes this simulated movement and uses a technique called generative video diffusion to create a smooth and realistic video of the objects in motion. This final stage is handled by the image-based rendering and refinement module. What makes FizGen so special is that it creates videos that are not only visually realistic, but also physically accurate. The researchers even made a web demo where you can drag an object in an image and see how it moves realistically. Imagine turning a still image into a cool animation or even interacting with objects in a picture. This has huge potential for all sorts of applications, from entertainment to education and beyond. Paper number nine, creating minute-long videos with AI. Let's we're checking out a super interesting paper called Loom, generating minute-level long videos with autoregressive language models. This paper introduces a new way to create long videos up to a whole minute long using a powerful AI model called a large language model or LLM. You might have heard of LLMs because they've been amazing at generating really long and well-written text, but using them to create long videos has been a challenge, usually limited to just a few seconds. What makes Loom so cool is that it can generate these minute long videos using a clever approach that treats both text and video information as a single stream of data. Think of it like writing a story where the words are replaced with both text descriptions and pieces of video frames. Long learns from this mixed stream of information so it understands how the text and visuals connect. It uses this knowledge to predict what should come next in the video, creating a smooth and coherent flow. To make this work, Long is trained in stages, starting with short video snippets and gradually increasing the length. It also uses some smart techniques to make sure it pays attention to all parts of the video equally, preventing errors from building up and making the final result look great. The sources even show some awesome examples of videos Long has generated, animals, landscapes, and even fictional characters. Plus, they demonstrate how a special video tokenizer compresses the video information without losing important details. This is a huge step forward in AI video generation, making it possible to create longer, more complex videos with amazing control and consistency. Paper number 10, Sin Talker, creating full body character animation from speech and text. Let's we're looking at an awesome paper called SynTalker, enabling synergistic full body control in prompt-based co-speech motion generation. This paper tackles the exciting challenge of creating realistic full body movements for characters synchronized with their speech. But what really sets SynTalker apart is its ability to use text prompts to control the style and actions of those movements. Imagine you have a character delivering a speech and you want them to walk around the stage 
sit down thoughtfully, or even kneel down for dramatic effect. Sintalker lets you do all of that. The sources show how Sintalker can generate a wide range of full body motions, like walking forward, kneeling down, sitting down, and even raising a hand while sitting. All of this is controlled using simple text prompts. This is a huge step forward from traditional co-speech motion generation techniques that often focus only on upper body movements and rely solely on speech input. Sintalker leverages both speech and text prompts to create much more dynamic and expressive full body animations. How does Sintalker achieve this? It uses a clever multi-stage training process that teaches it to connect the dots between speech text, and motion, even when the training data comes from very different sources. Sintalker also uses a diffusion-based process that allows for fine-grained control of individual body parts, leading to more natural and realistic movements. The researchers behind Sintalker have conducted extensive experiments to prove that their method is super effective and outperforms existing approaches. They even have a video showcasing more results and comparisons. This technology opens up a world of possibilities for character animation in movies, video games, virtual reality, and more. Imagine creating lifelike characters that move and gesture in perfect harmony with their dialogue, all guided by simple text commands. Let me know in the comments what you think of Sintalker's potential. Wow, what a week for AI. We've seen some truly amazing advancements in this video, from enhancing video interpolation with Vibeat Sampler, to generating 3D objects with Flex 3D, and even controlling image creation with multimodal instruction using Omnibooth. These papers are not just cool tech demos, they represent significant leaps forward in AI capabilities that have the potential to revolutionize fields like entertainment, robotics, and 3D content creation. What are your thoughts on these incredible breakthroughs? Which paper excited you the most? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more exciting AI news and breakdowns. Until next time, keep exploring the amazing world of AI.